everyone, welcome back to Call Me After Coffee. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my January. Normally I don't talk through these, but I was kind of feeling a talk through video today, so that's what you're getting. Um, so for the beginning, this is not part of January. This is like I ran out of pages for journaling in, and I didn't want this to jump too far away because it's a wedding invitation um, of a wedding I went to in December, so that just ended up there after the fact. But the ribbon kind of matches the color scheme, so it worked out okay, and I just covered their names so that nobody would see. Um, so for January, obviously, I painted this little squirrel and a little pine cone. I thought that was really cute. I like how it turned out. I added the washi tape kind of behind, and then instead of covering the whole edge of the page, I just do little, like, divider tags now. I think that looks a lot neater and just looks, I don't know, just better. Looks cuter. And then for January, someone pointed out in my last video just after I had fixed it, I totally spelled January wrong. I don't even know what I did. I think I completely missed the U. I think I just wrote January. Um, so I just cut out a piece of paper and stuck it in and rewrote it. It was fine. And I'm really loving this list way instead of the two page boxes. I actually feel like I have a lot more room to write. Love it. Our pipes froze. That kind of sucked. They were frozen for almost three days for our bathroom. It was wild. Uh, but we made do. We got through it. I always highlight my weekends. Anybody who watches knows that. I love having my meal tracker here just for dinner ideas. Like every time I'm kind of stuck, I go back a couple months and I just look through and figure out something to make for dinner. With my habit tracker, some of the stuff is stuff like this. I just filled it. I fill it out because I like something to be filled in all the way through. I can't not feed my chickens or they'll die. So obviously that's a given that I have done that job. But I do track some things, and I like to just know, like, for sweeping, when was the last time I did it kind of a thing. I aim to do it every other day, every day, but in the wintertime, I get really lazy, and I just don't sweep my house enough. So I do track a lot of stuff here. I've been trying to work out more. As you can see, I did it a whole two times this month, but that's two times more than I did it the last four months or so. So we're, uh, we're improving. But yeah, so I like this. The only thing I'm changing for next month is I'm flipping it, and it goes across this way. And then my brain dump is going to come down and around and everything just kind of goes like, whoosh, just like a little spit. I have my social media tracker here, which is awesome. I don't really need a whole like page for it, so I just keep it there. I have a separate collection just for my YouTube in the back, which I'm going to do a collections video, so keep an eye out for that. For this page, I really, really love how this turned out. I think it's so pretty. This is, was a memory spread, and up until this point, it's only been, like, memories and stuff, but I've started adding in, like, gratitude-type things. Thanks, Cindy, for sending so many people my way. Um, if you haven't checked out, I have a, a linked playlist uh, called Planner Community, so does Cindy Gwendard Baldo. I don't know exactly how to say her name, but she has a playlist of a whole bunch of smaller YouTube channels that she started, or not that she started the channels, she started a playlist and then I also made a playlist so take a look it's like all saved in my playlist part on my main channel and I'm trying to link it somewhere if I remember but I think that's cool I am currently still adding to the playlist that I have so I'm constantly whenever I see new videos come up I add them um, as quickly as I can or as often as I remember so keep an eye out and see if your videos are there and take a look there subscribe to more people look for more videos yada 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 it's cool to support small people and big people it's cool to support each other let's just share the love getting into this week I loved how this spread turned out I think it's so pretty it's like very clean um I'm not always like you'll see with the next spread got a little wild a little out of hand I wanted something simple for new year's I set this up like two weeks ahead of time, I think, because I knew this week was just going to be like, meh, recovery time from New Year's parties, you know, all of that. Uh, so this spread, I simply, it was super, super easy. I cut this out of a Norman Rockwell calendar, and he was changing the time on like one of the like big London style clocks or whatever they're called. Um, and I wrote Happy New Year in my silver pen, and I just thought this was like a perfect Looks like he's like ringing in the new year, so I thought that was cute. Very, very simple spread. This week I think is cute, but also kind of like, uh, it's like kind of bad. Um, I really love this paper. I think it's really cute. I came on one of Rainer's presents, I think, and I was trying to just be more like loose, and I just threw in the days where they fell. 
What I think I would have loved this if I hadn't used my fountain pen. I did use a fountain pen though and it smudged and I left fingerprints by accident and I couldn't, I'd be really careful about like using water near my book or anything. I know other things do bleed but this took like a really long time to dry and I like, I wrote something and went like this without thinking and I just like, just smudged everything everywhere. Uh, for this week I got, I think it was Jenny Journals. You guys, like, I love her. You guys know I love her. If you've seen a couple of my videos, I've referenced her a couple times. She did paint, like, a window scene. It wasn't in her planner, but she did one of her, like, paint with me videos, and she did paint a window, and so that was kind of where I got the idea. It didn't really look like this at all, but that's, like, essentially where I got the idea from. Um, check her out. She's super cute. I love her videos. She's, like, awesome. This spread is, like, where I found my groove this month. Like, this to me is the most beautiful spread I have made to date. I think it's like my favorite of all time and I'm definitely gonna stick with this style for a little while. I don't know who came up with this like layout originally. I have no idea. If you know, leave it down below and I'll like link to them or like reference them in some way. But I did love how like streamlined and simple this was and I just stacked the weekend on the side. And I, what I love about this is I didn't need as much space as I was giving myself. Like sometimes I would give myself like this much space, but I'd only feel like this much of it. And then it was just empty and boring. But this way I have like a little place to make kind of like a scene. I have a like, place for notes and then my weekend. And I just love, love, love how this turned out. And I'm, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be using this throughout February until I get sick of it. Getting into journaling, you can see, and this, I, I already filmed this like once trying to explain this part and I hope this makes sense. So what I do between the months is I, I set aside however many weeks I need for the weeks and then I set aside X amount of pages that I think it's gonna take me to get through to the next month. And then, so as you can see, I didn't allot enough pages back in December. So December kind of came over here and I just skipped past all of my January weeks and just kept journaling. So the journal is kind of split in weird places, but to me it makes sense. And I've been getting a lot more like kind of scrapbooky with my journaling style and I like adding accents and adding different fonts and like different kind of little eye-catching things. So this was like the end of December. And then for New Year's, we had a party and when, by party we had like seven or eight people here but they're like all of our best friends and so I thought this would be cute to make like a little guest book for everyone to sign this year to just have like a little memento of who was there so I thought that was fun um, and then this was from a card from my pen pal who I need to reply to but I absolutely loved the front of this card so I snipped it off and kept the like writing part in my drawer but I wanted to put this in my journal because I thought it was super cute and then this is where I was actually, I don't know if you can see, I like, before I started writing on it, I splashed watercolor paint drops behind so it would give like a little bit of color. I did use my fountain pen and I was like enjoying it, but after a while I just, it wasn't my thing. I added a recipe in here and just so I could find it, I just wrote on the edge. So I didn't need like a full tag. I'm the kind of person I go like, Handwriting cursive, handwriting cursive, and my writing changes. It'll change its slant, it changes constantly. And I actually had a teacher once say like, uh, cause I used to handwrite most of my like essays and stuff. And they're like, I know that you never get other people to write your homework because your writing changes like six or seven times throughout the essay, like my writing style changes. It looked, they said it looked like all these different people wrote it. So I thought that was kind of funny. Another thing I was doing uh, was practicing with my, my dip pen and I was using watercolors with it just to kind of, I always like to practice and stuff like that. This was the day, super disappointing email. This was the day I got the email saying that I was being kicked out of the partner program on YouTube. So we'll see if I make it back in, hopefully. Like thumbs up this video, like subscribe, shameless plug here. But I was like really mad about it, not happy. That's the day I made the paints gray and I did a little accent in the corner just, and I made actually, these are stickers I designed ages ago. Um, but I thought they were cute little, I always called them the wool fluffs. And this was where I switched back to my Micron 005. And I really love how this looks, but I hate using that pen because I don't have a backup. And if I wreck it, I don't have a backup. And it's like my favorite pen. So I started using on this page, I went back to my Sarasa 0.5 Zebra pen. I really like this pen, but it's not waterproof. And that's why I love the Micron so much. 
I don't plan on spilling, but you know. And then for this, guys, guys, I broke down. There was a 50 or 55% off coupon. I think it's 50. I wrote down 50. And I bought the pastel pack of tall bows. I love them. I think they're great. I love, I love this guy. This I ended up being like so worth it. Which if that ever wrecks, I'm just gonna buy a replacement because I love it. Um, and then this paint is a little bit funny. <laughs> I had this cat that I saved from Christmas. I like ripped it off something because I thought it was cute. Christmas is so over, but I didn't want to waste it. So I stuck it in there anyway, and then I started writing and I was like, that cat doesn't match at all, but whatever, I'm not taking it out now. Like, that's what you get for throwing something on a page before you're ready. I have been trying to paint more often, and so I've been practicing. So you can see here, I scanned this and printed it on um, scrapbook, not scrapbook paper, sketchbook paper, because that's like the only good paper I have right now. But I painted this one, and this one was one that I drew first and then painted. And then today, this is one that I painted, like I just started straight with paint and tried to copy this one. And I almost like this, I like this purple flower better and the shape of this better, but I like these leaves better. So there's that. With my Tombow, I actually wrote Lazy Sunday and then wrote over top of it. And I think that looks kind of neat just to have like an accent color and an accent kind of like word. Sorry, I did not silence my phone. Uh, and this is Mauser and Mojo. This is a dog rear puppy sitting. They met today, but they're like best of friends. They had so much fun today. They were together all day, just like loving it. And this is, um, I was painting a carnation for next week's setup and I was just like doing a little practice and it was so cute. I didn't want to throw it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.